มสไนด์ดิกันอาร์เรย์ลาสกิดอะไฟร์กันโอเคทุกคนฉันบอกไปแล้วว่าฉันจะแนะนำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคนทำการทอดไฟล์ทำให้ทุกคน On the fireplace, getting it ready to go. I gotta take my kindling back. So you can cook and you can smoke food. Um. So to make something that can start a fire, you want to combine sticks and. Uh, Bark, and then you can you can create a fireplace, but you don't want to do that. You want to create a hand drill kit. <coughs> and essentially, what a hand drill kit is like what they used to use to uh, use friction to light fires. So I want to put their other sticks on there. I want to find my bark. I want to put it in the fire in the kindling section. You can also use rags if you want. And then I'm gonna grab this hand drill kit, and we're gonna try to ignite it. And hopefully it'll work. <coughs> okay, so it looks like it works. So those will take a while to uh, cook. So I'm gonna run out while I can, and see if I can get some more sticks. But I can't really see much. Now, obviously, that's a huge target. Uh, if you can cook during the day, that'll help you. Um, not uh, okay. I'm gonna gather this long stick. If you cook during the day, it'll help you be less visible. But uh, smoke still comes out of the roof. So just collecting some more sticks. So I can put more fuel on the fire. Probably won't need them, but it does burn your it does burn a lot of. Uh... Okay, so these are done. If you check that, and then you, if you smoke things, they'll last longer, obviously, because smoking preserves stuff. And actually, I was talking to my buddy Tig, and he stepped on a landmine up north the other night. So the quicker I can get up to him, the better. <coughs> okay, now we talked about being wet. So you can see the wet symbol next to uh, the uh, the germ down there in the bottom right. So I want to look at my clothes and see what's wet. So my stab vest isn't wet. My jacket isn't wet. Oh, my police pants aren't wet, so not a lot of me. Face mask isn't wet. So my gloves are wet. Okay. So I wanna, I wanna keep those near the fire. See, these are smoked. How high could you get off meat? I don't think you can, crinkly, but I'm not an expert on that, buddy. So I'm fully warm, or I'm gonna dry myself. So this is gonna take a while. You can see my temperature rating is a little bit high. It's in the red. So I want to back away from the fire so I don't hurt myself. There you go. See, it went down to 11. So I'm still hungry. Uh, What's this? Meat tenderizer, that's new. I've never seen that before. 
This is some liver pate I'm gonna eat. I don't think I'm gonna take the meat tenderizer. Actually, I think you can use it as a hammer, so I might take it. Now that I have a backpack. <laughs> okay, so I'm dry, which is good. Tenderize the smoked meat. Let's see if I can do that. No, you can't combine it. They've actually done some improvements to the UI, which is nice since I last played. The controls in the bottom are way more obvious. Um, I'm going to drink this water before I leave. Just so that I can uh, grab some more when I hit the fountain that's just outside. Making sure not to overdrink. Okay, so if you see there's that plus symbol next to the temperature, that's a buff. Oh, and it's getting daylight. That helps. So I don't know if you can see it. But see the smoke coming out of the chimney? That's a good way of telling. That'll only be there if someone's cooking. Ooh, a lockpick. I'm going to take that. You can lock doors. That will help. I'm going to fill this. So, in the Chernaris map, you always spawn on the coast, and the coast, depending on where you are, is either the south or the, uh, the east of the map. To us, it's in the south, so we know if we want to head north, we have to head that way. You can always also use the sun, obviously. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west, but I'm going to head... Um, I'm going to head east first before I go uh, north because I want to show you there's a police station in the town across. Then we're going to head to a town called Zelenogorsk that, uh, that has hopefully some medicine for me. And as you can see, my food's going down already. So that's not great. People keep dropping in and out of the stream, it's funny. And there's other people in here, Crinkly, but you're the only one that talks. So I appreciate it, dude. Um, obviously, gunshots will attract zombies, so you want to try to avoid that as much as you can. And it's a lot of walking. The game has a lot of walking. We're having crinkly Mercer bonding time. I guess that's fair. Let's not get ahead of ourselves, though. I want to know who the creepy person is that just sits and watches. Oh, no, we got four. Nice. Welcome, new people. My kids made me watch this channel. Uh, I used to play games, Western. Not a lot. Why? <coughs> also, I don't know why your kids are making you watch channels. Oh, there's a zombie in the road, I think. Yeah. So you always want to check the the signs where you are in Russian. Um, it is frustrating sometimes if you don't know it. It's Jamal's doing? Okay. Um, if you don't speak Russian. But the, the map is pretty good to, to use. So that guy doesn't have anything. I'm pretty well set up, so I'm not going to check inside houses. That door's open, though. So that means there might be someone nearby. <coughs> Ooh, zombie. 
Leave me alone. Nope. Come on, then. So if you back up while you have it in your hands, you, uh... <laughs> they say you're the best coach ever. That's not true. I'm, I'm not very good. Um, you want to back up. Um, I appreciate that, though. Uh, and you can block stuff. Oh, I hear a chicken. Do we need another chicken? Let's get another chicken. I'll show you what shooting looks like. But it's going to draw a bunch of zombies. It's also going to draw the attention of anyone nearby. Gunshots will, will go out for like three, out, uh, three kilometers. So you have to be careful, especially if you're on a high pop server. I don't hear the chicken anymore. Oh, it's over here. I might just wrench it. Well, there's some stores. I'm going to check these out. <coughs> they usually have some good stuff. Hopefully I don't get so sick that I start throwing up, because then that's a whole game of managing your water and your, your food and everything. Ooh, hockey helmet. Suit jacket, don't want that. Okay, I hear the chicken. There he is. Okay, always want to skin them. Because then you don't have to carry as much. Used to be you couldn't carry the rooster itself, but uh, now you can, which is nice. All right, so that building right there is a police station. There's two types of police stations in DayZ. There's uh, there's these ones that are in small towns, and then there's bigger ones that are in the big cities, and they're more concrete buildings. And they can sometimes spawn decent guns. So we went to one, a different police station earlier. Uh, ooh, duct tape, that'll help me fix some stuff. If you ever get overwhelmed by zombies, you can like run inside a place and close the doors on them. Oh, see, that's good. That's a good can of food. So we're pretty well set up. Uh, which is kind of funny because when I first started playing it, it took us, took me and my friends about three nights of trying to actually find each other and get to learn the map and stuff and it's just pretty frustrating. I'm gonna try and get these guys coming at me one one one. I don't wanna So see I have two you can probably handle two on your own. But you gotta be careful. So see how it's getting black on the edge of the screen? If they hit you too much they'll knock you out. Um stream Minecraft. Um, I don't have that installed right now, frankly. <coughs> Plus, Minecraft's boring. Like... Tire iron, a couple of these. Not much here, okay. You know what, actually... Last time I was on a server, someone built a base in that place then back there. So we gotta be careful. Yeah, I'm not playing with uh, students, frankly. That's not gonna happen, dude. <coughs> I appreciate it, though. Okay, so go to radio. Radios are useful if you're not in party chat with friends and stuff, then you can talk across the map rather than just using proximity. Oral police jacket, let's see if it's in a better shape. Worn versus worn. So we're gonna keep this other one. Should eat something soon, relatively soon. There's 380 ACP ammo. This isn't super. Who says I'm a student? I'm assuming you are, frankly. I don't know who you are. Alright, 
There's not a lot here. Because again, we're still on the coast, so the spawns aren't great. Oh, okay, I got a scorpion there. So this is a, that's a semi, uh, um, not semi. That is an SMG. Be great if we could find a clip for it. Or I was hoping for a shotgun, but... Some police pants. Uh, I'm going to repair my pants, actually, if I can. Oh, no, where are they? They're there. So duct tape, you can repair. Oh, I'm not going to repair the broken pants. I'll just wear these. Take this stuff. Oh, I do have a scorpion clip. Okay. I think that's this one. No, nope, that's an SG-5 mag. Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> repair my pants so stuff gets worn I think we talked about that before there's something in that locker over there the shotgun shells slugs or not slugs uh, rubber bullets and it looks like there's something here I'm going to take that too just in case and sometimes there's stuff on the roof, but not often. Uh-oh. Okay, so... That noise is smoke. Is deadly poisonous gas, and I have to get out of here. Or else I'll die. If it's spawning here. So I'm in real trouble here. It is spawning here, I'm gonna die here. Oh my god, no way. See all the yellow? I have to get out of here as quick as possible. So those randomly spawn on the map and see how I'm automatically like getting cut and stuff and there's tons of zombies after me, I'm in trouble. Oh, there's just one, okay. I'll be okay. Wow, I've never actually been hit by one of those before. Oh, okay. So this is a rag. I want to make sure they're disinfected. They are. I can use it to heal myself. <laughs> uh, it's a really small developer, frankly. It's not a um, AAA game. So it's not super. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a peach while we walk. I'm going to check the map, and I want to head north to Zelenogorsk. I wish I could have found a... Um, found a... Um, compass but essentially if I follow there should be a road this road up here I want to follow that Sorry, a pear. I don't eat a lot of vegetables. So yeah, that gas, you need like special NBC gear, which stands for like nuclear biological chemical, things like that. And I'll get my colt out in case we run across anybody. I'm not good at PvP at all, but give it a try. Hopefully we can find some medicine. There's also some military stuff in Zeleno, which makes it popular. Um, actually, I'm going to check the online to see if I know anybody. Oh, I hear another chicken. I think we're okay for now. And we'll get as far north as we can get. Hopefully we can... Oh, there's a truck battery. So there are big trucks in this. This is a hunting uh, kind of cabin restaurant thing. I guess I did, Crinkly. You're noticing everything I'm doing wrong.
There's a zombie in here. In this room, it sounds like. Okay, so that almost never happens, so I would guess that someone did that. Put two of them in there. Especially with these doors being open. Sometimes there's guns behind here. Just looking out for me, I appreciate it, frankly. So I'm hitting touchpad a lot in the center of my controller because that's kind of the easiest way to see stuff if it's on the ground. Um, yeah. Okay, so we just left Komarovo. Now, unfortunately, the closest place that has a uh, hospital has a permanent gas zone on it. So essentially we want to head up to, there's going to be a, almost a T intersection, and we want to just head north from there to get to Zeleno, if we can. It's also very possible we just get sniped out of nowhere, because people in this game are super toxic, and very, uh, just salty. And that's one of the most frustrating parts. You can keep following this road, get a car. Uh, cars are very rare, crinkly. Like, uh, extremely rare. And then, like, half the time when you find them, they don't have what you need in them, and they're almost not worth the effort. Different servers will have more cars sometimes, but... But not often. So a lot of this is actually going to be running crinkly, so... If it makes you tired, you might want to have a nap. <laughs> but... Like I said, I'll probably play an hour, keep them to an hour long episodes, just see what happens. How can you call Minecraft boring? I don't know, I always get to a certain point, crinkly, where, like, the effort, yeah, see, having all these things open makes me think someone's been around here. Um, I always get to a point where the, there's a scope, what kind of scope is it? I'm going to take that in case I find a hunting gun. When I'm playing running simulator. Yeah, that's true. But Minecraft, you just like dig and stuff. So. And I always, I always get to a point where the effort it takes to uh, keep going, like to get diamonds and stuff, <laughs> it just doesn't seem worth it. I do really like games where you get to build stuff. And, uh, so that is w one thing I like about Minecraft, but I don't think on PlayStation you can have a open server anyway, but that would be kind of a neat idea. So yeah, someone's definitely been around here. Rust? Mm. Yeah, I've heard about Rust. Mm. Uh, it's still like, I hear it's janky though. So that's that town that has the medicine in it, but it's gassed. Um... So I don't want to pay 80 bucks for rust, which is, I hear, just as toxic as this. And, yeah. And then I tried to play Ark, and it's the same thing. So I don't know. In the summer, maybe I'll play something that I can put more time into when I'm not in school, but right now I uh, don't really want to. Okay, so we want to essentially come to like a guard house on this road. Ark is only fun with a group of 20. Yeah, I bet. And it's clearly designed for PC. 
and it's just does not it's not good on uh, not good at all on uh, console in my opinion so yeah if you think about all the work we've put in it's only been an hour and 20 minutes total but if I died right now it would suck right and there might be people there's high level loot down in the gas so there might be like high level guys around that have like NBC gear and stuff which wouldn't be good water tower up there Seems like my guy isn't sneezing as much anymore, so that's good. Okay, so he's become one with the flu, yeah. He doesn't, he has COVID now. Okay, so Zeleno is on the other side of that mountain, I think. I'm pretty sure. But it looks like there's a barracks or a guardhouse up ahead down this road that I might uh, go check out quickly. Oh, shoot, wolves! Okay, so wolves are dangerous, <laughs> um, and they won't go away. And now that they're attracted to my house, if there's anyone around, so in kid, I'm gonna take that. They will, uh, they'll know I'm in here because the the wolves just circle the house. Can I describe the backstory? The backstory of Daisy? Um, I'm not sure what it is. I know it's something like it, it's on the Arma map. Like Arma used to be a game. Oh, that's a zombie. That scared me for a second. If it was a real person, he would have had me dead. Um, and you're in Russia, and there's a zombie outbreak. And I, I don't know much else, sorry. I'm gonna go upstairs. No. So I'm trying to get a line of sight on these wolves because I don't want them to gang up on me. Okay, there's one. No, but I can't. Can I jump on here? I don't think I can jump. Arma would be interesting, actually. There's the new Arma... Um, reforged or whatever out, which would be cool, but I don't know, what are these walls? Maybe this will give me a better angle, no, let's go for it, ah! So I gotta take the clip out, I'm gonna have to load it again. This is Daisy, right? But I'm gonna have tons of uh tons of meat after this that I can cook. Oh my god, that's terrible. So ideally you always want to carry numerous clips with you, but obviously that's not always the case. So you can see how things can go bad quick, right?
If I shot at the wolf, I might kill it. That's a great idea, frankly. Cut this person up. So see all the food I just got? Fat is actually really good for you. Uh, gives you a lot of calories. So that's all I really need right now. Um, I'm actually going to eat something. And get out of here. No, I'm not. I won't teach 30. A lot of people build bases in these small little uh, things because they're decent. You only need one wall. Okay, we're going to go check out the, uh, the guardhouse and then we'll probably head north. We got tons of food. If I can get medicine, it's gonna be awesome. So that'll be the next goal, is to get medicine. And then if I can do that, I can check out the military zone in Zeleno and uh, hopefully get a decent gun. Because I have four bullets right now. There's that guardhouse. Sometimes there's stuff here. I've never really checked this out before, so we'll see. I thought you weren't a student, Crinkly. Why do you care what I teach? We'll take that even though I probably won't. Don't worry about it, okay? Even though I probably won't find a gun that uses... Oh, assault boots. That's good. I can put my knife in the assault boot. And, uh, save some room. This is decent. It wasn't really worth the detour. Okay, so now we're going to head north. You know that's kind of northish because the sun is on our right. And we will come across the Leno shortly. And you'll see one of the big towns. Also a hot button town. A lot of people like to go to it because um, there is a military area and it's an early place to get military gear. So you might run into someone there and I'll probably die. And while I'm waiting, I'm going to eat some cooked chicken. So I know this might not be a game that a lot of you like, or that would be into. Seems like younger kids like faster paced games, but I like the like survival aspect of it. I think it's pretty awesome. I'm looking for some hunting blinds because sometimes there's compasses on them. But I don't see any. Let's see. Yeah, we'll be coming in. We should be coming in right on the side of the military area. Oh, and see, I'm not sick anymore. So it was just the flu. So that's good. I got my vaccines and I'm good to go. So I could probably eat more. 
You might as well eat while you can. Because you never know what's going to kill you and stuff. And the healthier you are, um, the better you do. Eat some more. The healthier you are, the more your uh, the more your health regens, um, the more immune you are to diseases and things like that. Now there is one disease you can't avoid getting, and that's Kuru, which is uh, what happens if you eat human meat from another player, and you never you don't want to do that ever. And if I find a body, I'll cut it up to show you, but you might not run into anybody. There's also mushrooms in the forest every once in a while, but they're not really worth... Oh, so that's a helicopter crash, so we want to go towards that because they'll have high level loot. And anyone that's heard that is going to be one running towards it as well. You don't want to see me get crew? I'll show you what the meat looks like. Crinkly, I won't be eating it. You eat some more. So we're going to be looking for a big plume of smoke. And the helicopter crashed over here. I don't know how well you guys could hear it. Hear it. But, uh, yeah. The helicopter crashes also show up on um, the map, that, the map app I told you about. But they are random spawning, so... I'm just trying to look for it right now. See, see that smoke right there? That's the helicopter crash. So the quicker we can get to it, the better that'll be for us. Because there will be other people, if there's other people in the area, they're going to uh, go for it. And it is high level loot, usually. Also, thank you for not wishing that I would get sick. Frankly, I appreciate that. So there are some servers that um, have unlimited sprint, which is nice. But it's also kind of lame because like, no matter how much you carry, you can just keep sprinting. Which I think is kind of dumb. Would be neat to see if we could interact, find someone to talk to um, in the game, but a lot of people are just shoot on site or KOS, which sucks, which is kind of against it. Some people will try to rob you and stuff, but. A lot of people just KOS, especially around a uh, helicopter crash. And if that happens, I'll just... <laughs> if I just die, that'll be it for the night. I don't want to restart. This is a game, though, that people could play on the same server as me. Um, because they're open. But I know some of you wouldn't be super interested in it. So we're looking for movement. There should be zombies around. But also zombies, the movement of zombies is usually looks a little bit different than that of players. Okay, so there are zombies around, but I don't see any players. Problem is they might be camping. It to get an easy kill. And these zombies are gonna be hard to handle. Because I don't have any cover, I don't have many bullets. I have to try to get them one at a time. And they're military zombies. So there's at least four there. Five, okay, that guy's got one of the biggest backpacks in the game. If I could get that, that would help. You don't always want the biggest backpack. But sometimes it's nice. Let's see if I can just aggro one. Good 
Come on, keep coming towards me. Yeah, come on. Might be able to knife him. Oh, he keeps coming this way. Come on. There you go. He'll come this way. So see, he screams. I hope he didn't alert any other guys. There are screamer zombies, but I've never been able to tell which ones are which. And you can definitely tell that they're stronger, right? Okay, let's see if I can hotkey my knife. Which is in my boot. See if I can get a stealth kill. Or maybe I can... You can also shave yourself, which is lame. Be good if I could get a vest too, because you can get vests that carry things as well. And that just gives you more carrying capacity. One stealth kill. Doesn't have anything on him. Let's try and get this guy real quick. Dose. Let's see if I can get this guy. Looks like he has a vest on. Oh, no, okay, I'm not going to get this guy. And I want to hit him in the head to try and not damage the vest. There we go. Okay, so... Let's see if it's ruined. It's not, so that's sweet. Okay, so we're going to take this guy's backpack too, if it's not ruined. So you see it holds 890, whereas that one only holds 63, so I'll have more carrying capacity. And let's see what we got. Scope, not very good. Bayonet isn't great. A Balaclava is good. Ammo for an M4. There's those pouches again. I'm going to take them just in case. Salt helmet visor, which isn't useful right now because I don't have an assault helmet. And it's actually not useful if you have an assault helmet. A butt stock. SKS. Okay. That's helpful. I don't know if I have any SKS weapons or bullets. There's an M4 bayonet. Not useful. And then, is this scope a scope? I don't think this is a PU scope. No. Okay, so at least we got the SKS out of it. I have more quick selection slots because I have the vest now. And I have the nice uh, backpack. So I'm going to climb in here because sometimes there's decent stuff in hunting secure cabins. Actually, the second best clothing in the game is hunting stuff. Like that. Because it has really good insulation. I'm going to repair it before I put it on. So the hunting scope doesn't go on an SKS, uh, crinkly. Something called a PU scope goes on an SKS. So the hunting scope goes on a gun called the Blaze, which is like a lever action. Um, what else does it go on? I can't remember. And that's a little bit better camo, right? I'll show you. If you take the SKS out, right, there's the scope spot. It won't go on. And so that actually wasn't a decent, or wasn't a too bad of a helicopter crash, but there's definitely better. Like, there's games called, there's guns called the LAR, or the LAR, and they're definitely, it's the best gun in the game. And they only spawn at uh, helicopter crashes. So we keep heading up to Zeleno. Hopefully we can, can get some medicine, because medicine's always helpful. Uh, tetracycline, some charcoal, maybe some IVs. We'll see. But who knows. So... 
Crinkly, what are you doing for the weekend? What are you doing long weekend? See, here's another hunting thing. Hunter pants, beautiful. This was a really good detour. Can you eat this? I'm not doing anything. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to do very much at all. I might have a board game night with my buddies. <laughs> That's not nothing going to a playoff game. That's awesome if you can. So the issue is, is okay, so Leno is this way maybe? Yeah, Zeleno's this way. So the military stuff is on the uh, on the train tracks, if I remember. That'd be awesome to go to a playoff game. I've never uh, never been to a Flames playoff game. Can you come to the board game night? Sorry, buddy. Adults only. Plus, they like hard board games. My friends are into like super difficult board games. Oh, we got someone else joining us. Welcome. Very right, cute. I think Solano's this way. See how easy it is to get turned around? Cause so I got excited and I chased the... The what's it called? The helicopter crash. And I wonder how... How can you... I wonder how you can see who's watching your chat, but... Oh no, this might be Zeleno. Yeah, this is Zeleno up here. So this is a risky spot. Hopefully you guys will maybe see some... Well, not hopefully. I don't want to fight anybody. Because I really suck at PvP. It looks like a firehouse over there. What's your favorite board game, Crinkly? So this is Zeleno. Um, chess? I guess that's a board game. I used to play it a bit, but I don't play chess much anymore. So this is a place where if you can get to it quick... Saying you're the only one watching? See, I have three... No, that says parti... Are you looking at participants, frankly? Because that's people who are chatting, who are participating in the chat. Not necessarily, uh... There are zombies here, so that's good. Because that means that someone hasn't attacked them yet. Viewers, weird. Mine says three. That's strange. So someone's been here recently, all these doors are open. Or not recently, but before reset. Which I said isn't that odd because uh, this is a, a well-known area to get loot quick. Get looted up quick, so we'll see what we can find. Well... Oh well. Well, I know there's definitely more than one crinkly because I'm watching it on my laptop so I can follow the uh, chat. Look at this guy. So that's a screamer, I think. They can draw people from further away. But, whatever. So we'll try and loot this as quick as possible. Just so we're not exposed for too long. Don't need that. There's also, you can different pick up different parts. Like Kitty, wooden handguards, different parts for uh, things. That's an assault vest, which is okay. Uh, but it's only, it only has more capacity if you find a butt pack. There's some AK ammo I picked up. 
gas mask. I'll take that just in case. Check those already. Oh, here we go. There's a bison, which is good because I do have a bison clip. Bomber jacket. See, there's stuff everywhere, which scares me. Another bison. Does it have a clip? It has a clip in it, so we're going to take the clip. SG-5. We'll take that because I have an SG-5. Boonie hat. This stuff is in, it's being placed really weird. Um, the gas, it does, but you need that and you need... Um, what, did I drop my SKS or is that a different SKS? Okay, so that's in a that's a better shape SKS. So we're gonna take the bullets out of this one, and we're gonna drop it, and we're gonna load this one. Um, but you also need gloves, a jacket, pants, and everything. Compass, that's gonna help when we gotta get up north to where where Tig is. I don't know if Tig will ever come into chat because he's got a really bad potty mouth so it's just weird that stuff's just lying out here maybe that's the new update but uh i've never seen it like that before but there's almost too much stuff there's a compensator for the sg5 i'm going to take that um i equipped it right away what's this that's an m4 mag that's good those aren't super po uh popular Another compensator, not going to take that. I'm going to drop, actually, the Scorpion, because now I have other guns that are just as good, if not better. I'll take, check this out. So you need boots, you need jacket, you need gloves, you need a, a hood, you need uh, something else. Pants. Another compensator, that's weird. So I'm going to go in here and just quick slot the... Uh, there's another gas mask. Doesn't have a filter in it, so I'm not going to take it. Where's the bison? Right here. So I'm going to quick slot the bison because it's a way better weapon for right now. I'm going to change the. Uh, oh! I don't know why I can't change the fire rate. It used to be left on the D-pad or right on the D-pad. So I don't know what's going on. So we'll check these buildings real quick. Weird. So maybe they changed it. I might have to look that up. So that the little mic that came up is the like VoIP, which is proximity based, and unfortunately, your name comes above your head if you do that. So uh, if anyone's in this area, they're gonna know if someone's here. There's no way the the bison is an SMG, so that's just strange that. Firefighter jacket, don't want that. So this building is called Camo. Oh, grab that helmet. That's a Vega mag, which is for a shotgun. Uh, so we'll grab that for now. Oh, this is that butt pack. So we're going to take that and go get an assault vest because then we can carry more. So we're going to head back to where we were. And grab one of those assault vests. And you know what? I actually might end it in here because then I can loot it again when I log in. So let's find one of those assault vests. 
Okay, so we want to equip that, and then what we can do from that is we equip this onto the butt pack, and it actually doubles your carrying capacity of your vest, which is nice. Can I take the tank? No. No. There's no wheels, see? Um, there's no tanks in this um, that you can ride. On PC, you can get helicopters and stuff, which I might have some try, try and play it on PC at one point. Because it is free on Xbox Game Pass, actually. Which I think is really cool. I've been really impressed with Xbox Game Pass. So there's a fire... That's a fire station there. Um, actually, the last time I was in Zeleno, we actually got into a fight. People made a base there. And we messed them up. That was a while ago. So as you can see, I can't swing as much because my stamina is not great. Um, these barracks are called L shapes, obviously because they're shaped like an L. The salt backpack isn't as big as what I got. That's a bayonet. They're not that great. Weird. Ooh, see, this is the Vega. That's the gun I was talking about. Weird. It's an auto shotgun. It's not great. Um, I'm going to leave it behind because I have so much stuff. I'm going to drop the meat tenderizer as well. And the SG-5. That's not really worth it. Yeah. So there is quite a bit of managing your inventory, things like that. But, uh, yeah. Just two more barracks and then I'll be done for the night. Drop the hunting scope. I could. Ooh, spark plug. You need spark plugs if you ever want to get a car. Another smoke grenade. Those aren't very, very useful, but you want me to bring the shotgun? Okay. Okay, I'll go get the shotgun. There's my crowbar. I'll show you. Actually, I won't show you what it's like because that'll draw every zombie in the town to me. So you can avoid them pretty pretty easily. You just run. Okay, so this is a gun cleaning kit. Super helpful. You can use it to repair your gun. So I'm going to repair my bison because your guns will jam the more damage they are. So those are, that's a good find actually. Another bison. No clip in it, but it's got a scope, so we'll put that scope on mine. Sweater, not as good as mine. So as you can see, it's like a, a spiraling effect of all the zombies getting attracted. So you have to be careful. Oh, that guy got me. And now if there's anyone in town, they know I'm in here, right? Ooh, some more M4 ammo, which is nice. The M4, I think, the M4 is definitely my favorite tactical shirt. Um, definitely my favorite gun in the game. Its fire rate is insane. That's the gun I used if you saw my Two Bears video. And it's just, it's pretty versatile. Okay, and we'll do one final run. Across the road to that last barracks. Then we'll log out in there. 
Does that guy have a plate carrier on? Okay, so this guy I'm gonna fight. Yeah, that was a, it was a good moment. That, that was, I was playing with Tigamus. And bears actually in this game are super dangerous. They'll one-shot you. Ooh, I found some Sprite. We'll take that. A better heal. So see that symbol that's next to my water? That means I'm cut. You can bleed out. And you don't want to do that. Oh, there's some AK ammo in a box. So there's different boxes of ammo. That's for AKs. And you can just hear all the zombies around. It's crazy. Well, it's not Sprite in Russia. It's actually, if you look at it, I'll show you. It's called Spite. See, Spite. So that kind of makes sense for Russia. Oh, there's a bullhorn. You can use a bullhorn to, if it has batteries in it to uh, draw zombies away and things like that. Does not have it. Um, um, it's another Vega with the stock. Don't need it. No point grabbing two. Okay, that's it. So I'm going to log off. You always want to log off in a safe spot um, because you're vulnerable for 15 seconds, right? And you never want to you never want to log off if there's someone around because they can just run up and kill you. So see this? There's a window there, but people can't really see in unless they're high up. So I'm going to log out here, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me, Crinkly. You have a good long weekend, dude. And I'll... Uh, I'll play this again some other time. Hopefully I'll be more up north.